Welcome back to your second video in the C++ tutorial series. If you've made it this far, I'm guessing you guys are pretty devoted. Unfortunately, there's still a lot more to go, so stick with it, but I'm gonna try my best to make it fun. Before we get started though, we're gonna need some tools. Hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have everything installed, ready to go, and we'll write our first application. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, I would recommend Embarcadero C++ Builder. This is going to give you everything you need, which includes a place to edit your code and a compiler. C++ Builder is an example of an IDE, Integrated Development Environment, which I basically already defined. It gives you everything you need to write applications, in this case, in C++. With C++ Builder, there are a lot of capabilities that come with it. So if you scroll down on this page, you can see you can design apps with it. You can even do some pretty sweet debugging. You can deploy, and that's what's really cool because you can deploy to Windows, Android, Mac, and iOS. So it's a great tool to get started with, and it's not gonna limit you once you wanna deploy your apps to these platforms. So check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. Now if you're on Mac, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. So what we're gonna do is open the terminal, and in here say G++. Now if you get an error, that means everything's set up correctly, <laughs> which is the funniest thing ever. But if you don't get an error, it's probably going to ask you to install some developer tools. Go ahead and say yes. Now if you wanna follow along as close as possible to this video series, but you're not on a Mac, you can look up something called MinGW, that's M-I-N-G-W, and that's going to help you get the G++ compiler on Windows. So when you type G++ and you get that installed, that takes care of one of our needs. The other thing is a place to edit our code. There's tons of text editors out there. I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. So I got my compiler, I got my code editor, this should be everything I need to start writing C++. Now when you get in here, I want you to click open folder and we're gonna create a new folder, call it C++, and then click open. And you can see C++ open here on the side. You can X out of this welcome page and here's where we're gonna do all of our editing. So to create a new file, you can click this plus button and we're gonna call this youtube.cpp. So the cpp file extension, let's talk about that for a minute. This is the file extension I have decided to use for this video, but you might see some other file extensions for C++ files. You might see C, CC, <laughs> so confusing, uh, CXX, and even C++. If you're using an IDE like Embarcadero C++ Builder, just go with whatever it gives you. What you're going to want to do is just find how to create a new project and create a new console application. That'll get you to the same point as where I am here. All right, so how do we actually write code? I'm going to write everything out, and then in the next video, I'm gonna explain what everything means, but the purpose of this video is just to get you started to have a working, executable program by the end of this video. If you need to zoom in, you can hold Command and hit the plus, and you can hide this explorer just to get some more room. First thing we're gonna do is put pound sign include, and then inside of these greater than less than signs, you're going to put IO stream. Then we're going to say int main and put parentheses, Go to the next line and do curly braces and then close the curly brace down here and inside of here what we're going to do is say return zero so this is pretty much a useless c program in fact we could even get rid of this line and it would work just the same but i'm going to leave that in here because we're going to use that in a second what's going on here is we're creating a main function a function called main and then inside of the function all we have is return zero which just says the application works so if we actually want to do anything, go to this line here and put std colon colon and then put c out. Then use two less than signs and put hello world or whatever you would like to put. And at the end of that, put a backslash n. Make sure you put another double quote so there's a quote at the beginning, a quote at the end, and then end it with a semicolon. Now if you're new, all of this might be completely overwhelming. If you've coded before, this is like probably pretty simple. If you do already understand all this, bear with me for just a minute. If you're a beginner, what you should know is that all of this is going to come with time. You're not gonna get it right away. Main thing is just to type it out, get it working, and then in the upcoming videos, we're gonna explain everything. So we wrote our code, make sure you save it. You can do that by going to File, Save, or I just hold Command and press S. Now to run it, what I do is in here, I open a terminal, and then it just brings it up down here. If you're on a different editor, you might have to do the terminal separate. That's totally fine. You'll just have to navigate to this folder. Once you're in this folder, we need to compile our code. The way we do that is we say G++, and then we put the name of our file, youtube.cpp. You can see nothing happens. <laughs> Actually, something did happen. It just doesn't give us anything as an output. 
So what exactly happened? Well, if you go to our files over here, you're going to see a new file, a.out. This file is created every time we compile. When we compile again, it creates a new a.out and replaces the old one. This a.out is the executable program, and we can run it inside of the terminal by putting a dot forward slash and then a.out. And you can see that it outputs hello world. So congratulations everybody, you just created your first C++ program. Hopefully it wasn't too bad for you guys, but if you get to this point, everything else in this series is going to be smooth ride. I'm totally kidding, it gets much worse, but <laughs> we'll get through it. So I'm gonna close this explorer again and just focus on what we have here. Ideally, you can go through this and explain what each thing means. That's what I'm gonna help you guys understand in the next video where I'm gonna go in person and go through some concepts to better understand C++ programming. That's all I got for you guys. If you've enjoyed this content, please subscribe as that really helps my channel. And go see the next video because that's going to really solidify your knowledge. Stick through this series, you won't be disappointed and I would really appreciate it guys. Thank you and I'll see you then.